Today, Art Heals Earth is in Volterra, Italy, specifically at the archaeological site for the Vallebona area, or L'Aria Archaeologica del Vallebona. Now, there are two theories for explaining the genesis of the place named Vallebona. One is based on the memory and the use of the Middle Ages, the toponym Vallis Bona, probably an allusion to the abundance of water in the area. And the second, which is a more attractive theory, presumes that there was a Hellenistic temple consecrated to the Bona Dea, and the site was for oral tradition that has the marble statue of a woman and a child in the Guarnacci Museum. This came from that temple. Vallebona site was within the first of the town's walls construction, and it began in the 4th century BC, during the Etruscan period in Italy, when in the 13th century, the medieval town walls were built over the remains of the Summa Cavia of the 1st century BC. This Roman theater is the Valle Buona, cut off from the town center, and the isolation means that no further building took place at Valle Buona whilst building work continued until the 19th century in other areas of the town. Speaking of those other areas, let's explore. Beyond playing with a soccer ball or a football in the center of town and dealing with preteens attitudes, <laughs> there was a lot to explore, including the alabaster that is potent. And this is a center for alabaster in all of Italy. And the light in the space was giving the camera a very strange reflection, which is not only interesting, but curious. This work was so beautiful, handcrafted, and it's just an abundance in this particular area. The city in and of itself is very small, and you really go for the views. This is the most iconic view in Volterra, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It was a beautiful place to contemplate and to explore this Etruscan city in Italy. Tuscany is an area that's unlike any other in Italy. There's so much to see. It's such a historic, artistic place, and the terrain differs from place to place, but it's all so close together. This is an overlooking view of the entire town and the city where you see the mountains in the background. It's completely safe. It was beautiful to explore. The people were so kind and it was a wonderful time to sit and contemplate, to write, to journal, to draw, and to take photos. There was a really kind couple who had a Polaroid and I offered to take a picture of them and then they offered to take a picture of me. So I got to have a little keepsake from the trip and coming to this specific spot at that specific time was divine to be able to meet them and of course speaking Italian also comes in handy when you're traveling especially alone. I also wandered upon this little palace and these are pretty common in the area. There was a lot of art on the inside and being able to explore the interior without anyone talking to me made me happy because sometimes I like to just explore places in solitude as a little hermit and then get the heck out of there before anyone even actually talks to me. But through this was more of a museum area that I didn't really have time to explore that day. But that's okay. I just wanted to take a look and see what was going on in the area. And boy, did I do that. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. There's plenty more where that came from. We're going to be exploring all different parts of Italy and other countries at the Art Heals Earth channel. We love you. Art, the aligned resonant truth. Heals, harmoniously elevates, autonomously levitates, systems, Art Heals Earth.